الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم قل نحبط منها جميعا فإما يأتينكم مني هدى فمن تبع هدايا فلا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala fi kitabihi wa kareem commanded Adam, the father of mankind, alayhi salatu wa salam, to be expelled from Jannah, be expelled from the paradise for eating the forbidden fruit. And in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was giving Adam alayhi salatu was salam the command to leave the paradise and with that that guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when he expels Adam alayhi salatu was salam is that you will find guidance from me. And whoever finds guidance, then they will experience no fear, nor will they be saddened. The Mufassirin, those who explain this verse, they explain that when Adam, alayhi salatu was salam, was expelled, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this to him, that this would... This was an indication that from Adam he would have progeny. And that from amongst his progeny would be those who accept the guidance to the truth. And there would be and those who accepted this guidance and practiced it, then they would have no fear. They would not fear anything because they would be under the protection and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And nor would they be become saddened. And this is due to the fact of their experiencing, they wouldn't become saddened at what they missed from this worldly life. And these are the samarat or the fruits of guidance. And this is why it's imperative for us to be believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in his book and in the prophets alayhim afdal salatu was salam and in the angels and believe all the books that were revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam to mankind and to follow that guidance and especially the guidance of the final messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Qur'an which was revealed to him, which is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with guidance and bless us with ikhlas, with thabad ala sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.